Welcome to RCBS Reviews. Today I bring you a tutorial how to connect and configure the receiver from Radiolink R6DSM through SBUS with a newer flight controller that is Poseidon flight controller. It's an F4 processor and uh, it's only have one port that you can connect through SBUS that is uh, WART6. I will leave over here the connections so we can see how to connect with the receiver from Radiolink. The connections of the WART, WART1 and WART6 is ground pin or next is VCC, receive and transmit. Over the Radiolink is almost the same. First of all is the ground, then the VCC 5 volts VCC and signal wire that is the receive over the I flight Poseidon board over WART 6 I will power the board so I can power the receiver as you can see over here I don't have any kind of receiver connected okay it's already connected to the radio because it was already binded as you can see if you need to bind uh, you only have to press this button a long press until this LED starts to blink Okay, it's blinking. It will blink eight times. It was disconnected and will be connected again. The binded procedure is done. I will leave over here a link where I do the review of this receiver, so you can see more details about it. Well, let's start to see over the radio what you have to, to do. First of all you have to select a model that I have already selected before and give it the name of the frame and the, the controller that I have. If you do, do, you must select what kind of model you have. I am using a multi-router and normally this flight, this kind of flight controllers is used is are used to race quads, uh, and then I will do the configuration as I used to do on my race quads. That I use a switch to harm the quad, two position switch, three position switch to choose flight modes, and then a third switch, two position switch to activate the buzzer and lost model alarm. If st with this configuration I will, you, uh, you, I will configure the auxiliary channels. On channel 5 that is our attitude that you can see, see the um, information what is the mode that you have selected. I will use I will press push this button on channel 5 I will use switch C that is this over here and I as you can see can select three flight modes I will change the names of flight modes I will call this to Acro Arco this I will sh called it sport mode and this stabilizer that is angle horizon on beta flight this controller is with beta flight and beta flight this is angle horizon and acro I will leave this channel on channel 6 I will put the arming channel, is switch B. 
on channel 7 I will use switch D and only change this to not be the same, switch A ok over the radio is done let's configure let's configure the beta flight interface so we can see how you can do first of all you must select when, on which port you have your serial RX connected as I mentioned before this this is ward 6 that is the only the one that have inverter for SBUS communication okay after choose serial RX press save and reboot on the beta flight configurator connect again as you can see the port is already selected the configuration I must select which receiver I have I have a serial based receiver as you can see over here with SBUS and again save and reboot to apply this configuration ok let's connect it again configuration it was done ok and receiver let's see if it changes anything yes it changes as you can see my channels are working as predicted the flight modes as I mentioned before is auxiliary one as you can see it's our change acro sport and stabilize it you can see over here well let's configure the flight modes over the flight controller let's select mode, mode style and then select the channel to arm as I mentioned before channel to arm is switch B that is auxiliary tool as you can see it's already changing the value I will adjust the value so we can do it okay. and save when I switch on angle I will change I will select channel 1 as the lower position and then save I will add horizon and the middle of the scale the range sorry and select save as you can see when I change it changes from angle to horizon at the third position if you don't have any game selected it will enter into acro mode I, when I am in acro mode I like to activate the air mode as you can see and any change that you do you must save over here to be implemented let's see also failsafe failsafe tab is only available if you enable expert mode if you don't enable expert mode you can see uh, the failsafe configuration as you can see the tab appears and disappears the configuration is already activated it will drop if it lost communication from the receiver you can also assign an auxiliary switch to activate failsafe if you want to force failsafe even without 
have lost communication from the quad but that should be not necessary because you have an arm switch that if you disarm the quad it's almost the same as fail safe let me show you only one more information of this is the version that I have installed on my flight controller I'm with 3.1.7 and this board is an Omnibus F4 firmware. Well, with all flight modes configure, configured, I will demonstrate the only thing that matters to this kind of configuration. If, if you lost receive the transmitter signal, or disconnect, or lost battery, or anything, if your quad enters failsafe so I will arm the quad and then disconnect the radio and as you can see over here it's indicating that it's over in failsafe mode to take out of failsafe mode I will have to disconnect the flight controller and connect it again so I can have the configuration working again As you can see, modes as you can see, modes are changing correctly. It's all properly working. This receiver is one of I tested, but if you have any other kind of receiver like R12DS, you can also do the same because I will disconnect this R6DSM and I will try with the R12DS. Once you have defined the receiver, it should work the same way. As you can see, I already have over here the signal strength and I can change the modes and they are changing over here. Once you have the configuration selected, don't matter which receiver do you have connected because these models over here it's more like tank kind of configuration. If you have a racer, you will configure your transmitter always the same. A switch to the arm, switch to activate your flight modes and the buzzer. So you have configuration for racer and don't matter, you can have any number of racers that you only have one configuration that it's very useful. So is a, an advantage of the AT102 and the receivers from Radio Link. As you can see, this radio is very powerful. You can configure any kind of multi rotor, and I will leave the description below so you can buy either the AT102 with this receiver or R6 DSM that is more used on a racer because of its size. It uh, has a 600 meters of range that is more than enough for a racer and I will leave also the link on the description below so you can buy the F4 iFlight controller the Poseidon. If you like this tutorial please leave your comments below, give us a like and subscribe our channel to help us grow. Don't forget to activate the bell to receive notification of new videos. Until next time, bye!